Hey, did you know that you could live stream using Zoom? Waiting for perfection never got anything done. You just have to start. Zoom is a fantastic meeting and webinar and conferencing tool that's been out for several years. It lets you host meetings, it lets you have webinars, it lets you use it with like a big conference room, you know, monitor, big, you know, cameras doing this kind of setting. Zoom is really useful. One thing that Zoom can do that a lot of people don't know about is live stream. You can actually live stream your meeting to Facebook, YouTube, uh, Facebook work groups, work, workplace, workplace for Facebook. I don't know anybody that's on workplace for Facebook, but you can zoom to it and even other live streaming platforms. Let's hop over to my machine real quick and I'll show you how to set that up and actually do it. But first, if you want to learn how to leverage the power of technology and media so that you can take the gospel to the world, start now by clicking the subscribe button and ringing that bell. That's what we do on the Church Media Guys channel. Come on, check it out. Okay, let's start off by logging into our Zoom account. So you go to zoom.us, sign into your account. And then that's going to bring you up to your meetings page where you can see your upcoming meetings, previous meetings, the meeting room, all that sort of stuff. Now, what we need to do is go to account management under the admin section on the left-hand side. And then we're going to go down to account settings. And then when that comes up, we're going to go to in meeting advanced. That's going to take us down a good piece. We're going to scroll down just a little bit more. And we have a section that says, allow live streaming meetings. So toggle that on and then choose the options that you want available to you. Do you want to be able to stream to Workplace by Facebook? If your company or your organization is using that, then definitely do that. Um, otherwise, Facebook, YouTube, um, you can do a custom live streaming service like Restream or any of the others that are out there. So if you just choose that, then you can give some instructions to the host uh, regarding that. So go ahead and make sure that that is toggled on and then let's get out of there and bring up Zoom. So we're bringing up the Zoom client. This is the client that you download and install on your desktop or laptop. And we're going to start a meeting. And here it is. There we are, got our meeting going. So now I can go ahead and, and invite attendees if I need to, copy the URL and then go over and email it to them, however you invite people. Uh, once that's done, we can do the live stream. So click over here where it says more. Down at the bottom, you got mute and stop video and participants and share and all that. All the way over to the other side, more, the three dots. Click on that. Then you can choose which one you want to go live on. You want to go live on Facebook or Workplace by Facebook. Like I said, if your organization is using Facebook Workplace, that's a great place to do it. Um, otherwise, live on YouTube. So whichever one, I'm going to go live on Facebook. And it is bringing up here my account. And it says, go live on Facebook. Where do you want to post your live video to? So do I want to share on my timeline, friends timeline, share in a group, um, an event, or share on a page that I manage. So share on a page that you manage. And here's all the different pages that I'm a manager on. And I'm going to go to DCM test, which is my testing page. And I'm going to hit next. And Facebook and Zoom are going to talk to each other for a sec. And here we are with the live stream control room. And you can see we've got our video resolution of 1280 by 720, our bit rate, our frames, audio, all that. We're all set, ready to go. So let's just do a test. Uh, Dave's Zoom meeting stream test. So I'm going to call it and I'm going to hit go live. And the two are talking and we're getting ready to go live. And now I can go to that page. And then when we bring that up, here is our we're getting ready to go live live stream. All right. So now what I can do, I'm going to move that over. And what I can do is we can share the screen. Let's do a little test. Okay. So here I am in a meeting. Um, if I had participants, they would be up here on the top of the screen. They're not because I don't have any participants right now, but I can share my screen and show you how to do something. So let's hit share and I'll choose which one I want to do. Um, but I'm going to choose desktop. It's going to be the one over here on my left screen. Photoshop, and look, here I am in Photoshop. 
changing things and teaching you how to do something in Photoshop. So that's how you do it. Really cool. Let's take a look and you'll see in just a second it will show up on our live stream. There we are doing the live stream. Look, here I am in Photoshop changing. So that is how you live stream using Zoom. When you're done, all you got to do is hit where it says end meeting and that will stop everything. Now, some people may be asking, why would I want to live stream a meeting? Well, if you have a meeting between certain people, but you want to make it open to the world so that they can watch how things are happening or things are discussed, that's a great way to do it. For example, at our church, we have a couple of Bible studies that we do during the week that we are now doing virtually, online only. These Bible studies have people that come regularly, but they're also open to other people in the church who may not know about it. So what we're doing is we are doing a Zoom meeting for the people that usually come to the Bible study, but we're streaming it to our private Facebook group so that people who haven't been coming can find out about it and participate through the live stream. That's just one example. A lot of people will use it to do group discussions or to do, say, an interview with two or three people and live stream it that way. It's very easy. I, I, you saw, it's very easy to set up. If you want to learn more about Zoom, check out this link right over here. And if you want to go deeper into live streaming and video production and other ways that you can leverage technology and take the gospel to the world, then check out the other video. Now take what you've learned and go change lives!